Now where do you Cobra Couriers keep microfilm? In this body armor? In your belt? No? Hmm. Maybe in these ridiculous boots. Bingo. Gotcha. So long, buddy. Captain, the sun goes down and we haven't found him. It's your ass as well as mine. Look, over there, another body. He's dead, blood, but the body's still warm. Slowly, I'm not Cobra. I don't care. Now march. Hold it. Dark soon. See that nook up there? That's where we're camping. Sure. I'll go up first. And you can hand me your rifle while you climb on up, Joey. Cute. But I'm afraid I have other plans and you're not gonna like them much. Oh yeah? What's that? <sighs> Toss the rope over that tree. Now bind yourself around the ankles. Make it tight. Or you might have a very bad headache. Well played, Joey. You're a real sadist, all right. Oh, the fun's just Ow. begun. Rope nice and tight, Cobra. I want you plenty cozy. I sleep with one eye open, and if I don't like what I see, I give this rope a little tug. Good. Now let's take a look at this fancy sidearm you were packing. They give this to all the Cobra big shots. I told you, I'm not Cobra. I'm an independent contractor. And I told you I don't care. You and your Cobra pals wanted to spill my blood. You can be grateful I'm marching your sorry butt back to my guys instead of leaving you in a ditch with a bullet in your funny looking skull. Now what does this button do? Why don't you press it and find out? No thanks.
In my side was there a thorn, red-blooded American-born. Two went into that craggy nook, only one would see the door. <laughs> Another line, please. That microfilm, I know you got it. Do you have the slightest idea what's on it? Do you have any clue what it's worth? Why would you? You're just a fool with a gun, doing what he's told without question. I owe Cobra nothing. With my contacts, we can both be very rich men selling the secrets on that form. You're wasting your breath. And if you keep talking, there will be a definite shortage of that. Incorruptible tough guy, eh? Why don't you wise up? Assuming you live long enough to age out, you'll die old and poor. And you think you found a better way? No home, no family, no flag. You've got nothing worth living for. And all the money in the world ain't buying you out of this noose. I'm not the only one with his head in the noose, mate. Bedtime, Cobra. I hear another peep out of you for the rest of the night. And I think I might make a trophy out of your good eye. Sweet dreams, sweetheart. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. From the guys that brought you G.I. Joe Berg, the podcast, and G.I. Joe Berg, the web series, comes G.I. Joe Berg, the t-shirt, the leggings, the phone covers, the mug, and even G.I. Joe Berg, the socks. Available only on our official Teespring store. Link in the description below. Berg! Not another step. Bet you wish you'd cut a deal now, Joe. What kind of an idiot do you take me for? You would have stabbed me in the back the first chance you got. You're right. What was it you said again? Oh yeah, sweet dreams, sweetheart. <coughs> Which is why I took the liberty of removing the firing pin. Feel free to pop that piece back in your holster, pal. It's nothing more than a paperweight now, and I could stand to lighten my load. Not a bad bit of alliteration, Joey. You like poetry? Keep walking. You remind me of someone I used to know a long, long time ago. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me.
dragonfly extraction, nice and quick. Not so nice for you though, trust up on the skids. No. Dust off, Wild Bill, get out of here! Just drop one on Ricondo. Let's get some payback, Bill. <laughs> Shin gun ain't gonna cut it. We gotta stick to cover or we've had it, old pard. He's too fast for the gun and too close for the missiles. What do we do? We gotta just keep taking shots and hope we hit something, Stalker. He's too low and too close to line up my gun. I've got him. Kick the right rudder, Bill! Smart move, Stalker! This is beginning to test my patience. The longer we stay out here, the more chance he's gonna get lucky. If I can just pull him into the open sky... I'm gonna find us cover. If he makes another head-on pass, it'll be a turkey shoot. There you are, Joe. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me. <sighs> Beautiful morning, ain't it? Real pretty. Why don't you come a little closer and see that? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Sometimes I wear this helmet a little too tight. Could you repeat yourself, please? Come here and I'll adjust that helmet for you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? 
We're about ready to up and leave this here position. Our mission here is complete. No thanks to the likes of you, of course. Quite troublesome you proved to be. Kicking like a mule even with your back up against the fence. See now, the higher-ups don't seem to think you're worth much alive. I don't blame them. Guys like you and me, we just follow orders and get it done. So headquarters tell me you got no real value. Now that's a crying shame. It really is. No real value. They don't see things the way I do. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I got no love for having to travel with a prisoner. You got to worry about security and keeping you from starving or killing yourself, and it's messy. Real messy. But I've never been a fan of just shooting a man. It's a terrible waste, you know what I mean? So I have a little proposal in mind. I was hoping you'd hear me out. Are you a gambling man? I am. Who do I love me a little wager? Truth is, I ain't truly alive unless I got some action. You gotta have stakes. Otherwise, you're just sucking air. Now we patched up your little boat. She's a fierce little hot rod, I'll give her that. And you know the river, right? Of course you do. Follow that about five mile and you hit open water. And freedom. Oh, yes, boy. You heard me. I'm going to give you a chance to escape. All you got to do is get away from me. The boys think I'm crazy. They're probably right. They like the color of my money, so we got ourselves a little wager. I even gave them five to one odds. So what do you say? Of course it is Cobra's policy to shoot escaping prisoners on sight. The way I figure that ought to play into your motivation to fly away, little birdie. Do we have an accord? If you do, I'll be there. He looked dead on his feet, Copperhead. Two outboards versus an airboat, 60 second lead, and 5 to 1 odds. I'll make this any sweeter for you, and I might as well just let you shoot him in his cage. Cut 
a little different piece right now. A nice big 40 millimeter frag amidships. Come on, Joe, give me an opening and I'll show you who owns this river. Eat my weight, boy. You think you've got this sewn up, Cobra? Think again. You get in there and you drag that Joe's carcass out. You're absolutely right, Captain. This is on me. And it's my job to go in there looking for a corner Cajun who loves nothing better than a bare knuckle fight in a swamp. But you forgot one thing. If I don't come out with him, you're next up to bat. You're a real hot shot in that there slick. But down here, you're gator meat. Keep it up, copperhead. That lucky streak of yours won't last forever. Well played, Joe. Only bit of cover on this here bank and you dig in like an Alabama tick. Guess I'll see you around. is level. Okay, Bill, dust off. Heading out now. yee Torpedo away.
Look alive, Joes. Man your stations very smartly. This here battle station is a piece of naval equipment. That means I'm in charge, and I'm gonna make sailors out of you if it kills you. Barbecue, get that crane deployed. We're gonna need it to offload our heavy gear. Ensure all points are tightly fastened. You got it, shipwreck. Alpine, that active radar dish is broken off again. Secure it and test the connections. We need our air defenses online and tracking, boys. Get clear and deploy the ramp. Once the tide is out, we can winch up the armadillo to augment our firepower. Yo, Joe! Airtight. Generator up and running yet? Test the servos on that missile rack. Twenty millimeter twin cannon loaded and sweeping the skies. Looking ship shape, men, but stay alert. We're a hidden ace for now, but don't expect it to stay that way. Unpack the weapons rack and get those small arms secured. Look alive, airtight. Ensure that we have a full complement. XMLR, M32 Pulverizer, two M16s, and the NFL. We're expecting Flint and the Skyhawk. Landing pad is prepped. Turn on the radar and keep your eyes peeled. Looks to me like the weather could be improving. I hope so, Barbecue. While Bill and the Chopper Boys couldn't stick around. And until this ceiling lifts and they get refueled, we're the only ones holding this point. Uh-oh. Guys, we've got company! Increase speed, Lamprey! We must reach the objective before G.I. Joe establish a foothold! We've got a nice stretch of calm water, Destro. I'm engaging the hydrofoils. Excellent! I shall expect not a not less, Captain! Sir, enemy installation on port side! Take up small arms and get in position! They're coming up on our cannon's blind side! We're gonna have to wait for them to pass! Time to show those snakes they ain't welcome here! Hand me the laser rifle, Alpine! You got it, Barbecue! We didn't start the fire! Switch! Come in! We've got hostiles all over us! Where's that air support? Hang tight, airtight! I'm four minutes out! Gonna redline it! Just hang in there! 
Turn into the attack, you fool! Bring the main guns to bear! Forget it! We'll beat ourselves! We need to come about and get some room! You're going to expose our stern, imbecile! Nobody lives forever, right? You're late. You're late. Oh, yeah. You must not value your life, Joe. They're in the arc of the main guns. Drill them. We can't. Alpine's in the way. What the hell's going on back there? Fire the rockets and blow that Joe base to driftwood. When he comes about, I want aimed fire on his broadside. Cut him in half! Now for the coup de gras. Yo, Joe! Come on, Alpine. Where are you, buddy? I saw you fall in about here. Come on, buddy. Flint! Alpine! First time I ever hooked a hiker. Sorry you didn't catch a cobra, too. Destro hit the drink with me, but I lost sight of him. Hopefully the metal head dragged him all the way to the bottom. Scratch one more battle station. Glad I'm not the insurance specialist on this team. Yep, but now they know we're here. They're gonna throw everything they have at us. Shoot! Caught with our pants down! Anti, the missile launcher! Oh, come on, baby! Light. My. Fire. No parachute. How's the neck, Alpine? Let's put it this way. I don't think I'm gonna be yodeling anytime soon. Ha! And here comes Cutter and the cavalry. Just in time to steal our glory and bust us down to latrine duty. Get the let out, Joes. We're packing this in and heading up river. We've got another airdrop fortification inbound. Woo, 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 woo. We're about to show Cobra who's really in charge here. Huh. 
Need a ride, Destro? Duke to Cutter, how navigable is this river? This looks thicker than Gung Ho's cooking. I heard that, Duke. Our chart showed to be wide enough to get us to the objective. I've been in canoes wider than this. Stow it, sailor. Stay frosty, everybody. It's a good bet Cobra's not far behind. Gung Ho sure is twitchy. No creature comforts. Ain't that right, Junk? <laughs> Can't remember the last time I had some fresh camis. Feels like we've been stuck in this jungle for months. Damn mosquitoes keep eating me up, man. There are worse things out here than mosquitoes, Roadblock. <laughs> oh hell! Suppressive fire! Torpedo, I got you, buddy. Hold on. Torpedo's bad. Doc, get up here now. Coming about. Shipwreck. Drop the ramp. Keep up the volume of fire, boys. We're too exposed. Oh man, don't waste any time bringing that ramp up, boys. Uh, yeah, come on. Roadblock! Ricondo, cease fire, dammit! We gotta get Doc up here now! You got it, Top! Doc's on the way. We got you boys covered! Now get on board! Move it, move it, move it! Come on, Joes! Hang in there, Torpedo. We got you, boy. Move it, guys! If the ammo cache goes up, we're history! Fireman jump. What's that? Do my eyes spy something high? If it gets closer, we're gonna die. Looks like we've got aerial harassment. Traverse the turrets. Blow that thing out of the sky. He's slipping into our blind spot, man. Swat that cobra sucker! <laughs> Ah! Cutter's hit! Can't afford to get Doc up here while that thing's buzzing us. Doc's got his head down. This one's on you, sailor. I've got the helm. Urgh. 
damn thing keeps coming at us from behind. How's it looking, shipwreck? Tis but a scratch, Cutter. Maybe, but it stings like hell. Heads up! The thing's coming back! Take a bite out of this! Or the port, Duke! <laughs> if that thing decides to return, go crash and burn. No doubt, man. Okay to move out with us, Cutter. Do I have a choice? Shippy beached my whale. Okay, shipwreck. You get to make up for losing the battle platform. I want you and Barbecue on rear guard at this location in case Cobra make an appearance. We'll take the wounded inland to the LZ. I'm a little short staffed for that top. Until logistics can catch up with us, we're all stretched thin. Hold the line. You're the boss, boss. <laughs> LZ coming up! Get those pallets ready, boys! It's gonna be violent! Ready to hit the silk? Born ready. It was awkward. She asked my mom. Final checks. <laughs> We're all set! Ramp is down! Stand by! Go, go, go! <laughs> Ain't no lie, I love to fly. Okay, Frankie boy, game face. That's it, boys. Our fortification has arrived. And so has the best man to honcho its construction. Yo, Duke. Boys, Sock, the best time in drills with 10 men is 40 minutes. I want it down to 25. Cooper thinks they've got us on the run. Well, we're going to teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Let's hustle, Joes. Airborne and Ripcord are getting lonely. You heard the man. Let's move it out. Get some cover set up for our wounded and let's get to work, Joes. Hang in there, Torps. We're not out of this yet. Dude, sun, sand... And a workout, awesome. A little too much sun for you, maybe, Footloose. Better keep that lid on. <laughs> of course you can help out, Chunk. You can watch for Cobra. And not get squished. <laughs> okay, it's time to let us know, gung-ho. What a man can achieve when he's fueled by gumbo! Oh! Get back in it, Ripcord! 
couple more feet and we can unpack the center fortification. We in position yet, Duke? Oh! Almost! There! Now for my favorite part. I'm like a kid on Christmas when I unwrap this bad boy. Shipwreck, you missed your last check-in. What's going on? Funny you should ask. Barbecue and I are getting our asses kicked. Yow! How many and what assets? Shipwreck? They've landed some light weapons. Jeep, a field gun, some walking armor. We've done what we can to slow them down, but they're through now. Get clear. We're ready for them. Shipwreck? Shipwreck! <laughs> okay, Joes. They're coming. Weapons teams, you know your assignments. By the numbers. No mistakes. Yo, Joe! Uh, Duke. Uh, your chair uh, is ready. Um, I'll just... I'll just leave it here. I... 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 I didn't... I didn't do anything to it. It's... It, it's safe. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll go now. How about we get you some shade there, Cutter? Sounds like a very good idea, Doc. Uh. <whistles> Hey, Rip, you old guys probably get tired of answering this, but uh, why does Mutt wear a muzzle? What? Yeah, I've often wondered that myself. You kidding, right? You know Junkyard's employment contract always maintained. He'll only work with wild animals if muzzled and well trained. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Roadblock. <laughs> Joes brought their snap together fortress. Too easy. Okay, men. Joe is nice and cozy in their prefab fort. I'm taking the jeep and a rifleman up to soften the target. Get the assault systems pod set up and start bringing it down once the fireworks begin. Captain, move the infantry squad into position and deploy the snakes. We'll overrun them once their perimeter defense is shattered. Almost time to break out some MREs. Speak for yourself. I had the in-flight meal. <laughs> Ricardo! Beep! Get clear! Incoming! <laughs> Footloose, let's get this 50 in play. Yeah! 
You did it! Burnt out the barrel, but you did it! Did it. Yeah! I did it. Yeah. Out of the way, Airborne. You take a look at Cutter. Airborne, I'm fine. Just, my ears are ringing. <laughs> Got a cure for that? Come on, Ricondo, hang in there. Uh-oh, <laughs> sounds like artillery. Yeah, they're walking the rounds right up to us. Dude, get over here! Must be that artillery piece Shippy warned us about. Stalker! I'm on it, Top! Deploy the snakes right down their throat to flank them with infantry. They're deploying some armored units. Mince those things. Too late! They're on us! Watch out, Gung Ho! Oh, damn, I'm out of here. Uh, I'm a computer. Cobra in my kitchen again? Eat. Come on! Bring this thing down! Lay it on! Fresh barrel up! Let him have it! Phew! That was too close. You okay, Alpine? Come on, buddy. Oh, my head. One down, one to go! You boys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Right, Roadblock? That's right, Duke. Oh. Control that dog! Chunk of all the junk! Damn dog! No! No! Any excuse, please. Their defenses are shattered! Press the attack! Cobra! Cobra! Oh no! Yo, He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe was there! I guess that was too hot for Cobra to handle. Hey guys, you happy to see me? Shipwreck. Dude. Hey, Shippy. Barbecue. All right, hot dog. This isn't over yet. Get down from there and police up Jeez, some prisoners. No rest for the wicked. Save your ass and this is the kind of thanks I get? Break your cannon armed and ready. Why not use bombs? You've never had a sit down with a Cobra accountant. I'll make this quick and cheap. Threat indicator warning. Oh, someone locked onto us. Hang on, Baroness.
jump in the heavy stuff or we won't stand a chance. I'll put in a good word with the towns. If we survive. <laughs> Gonna get some range and go for another high-speed pass. Heatseeker should track even against the clutter. If we climb, he'll be able to paint us against wide open skies. Can't be helped, Lady J. Sky Strikers were designed to own the sky, not slither around down here. Duke, you got eyes on our bad guy? Negative, Lady J. He tore off. Maybe he knows when he's outclassed. Missiles incoming! I got this. Don't forget the mission, Weasel. There'll be plenty of time to scratch that tin fort after we knock out their expensive jet. This rivalry is going to get us both killed. Stow that opinion, your ladyship. I'm gonna teach this hotshot a lesson he'll never forget. I hope you can shoot as fast as you can talk. See him yet? Negative. Think he's split? Not if this guy is who I think he is. He's out there. Duke, Ace, do you read? Problem with fishing is they that it doesn't you. work out they so well you. for the bait. Want you as you might want to head for the hills. They want you. They want Not you. an option, they Ace. Want you as You've got a brig full of prisoners and too many wounded men to police them. Our radar is still operative. If he makes another pass, we'll pick him up. <laughs> when you pick him up, it'll already be too late. This guy is using the canyons to shield his movements. Take him out, Joes. No excuse. Whoa! <laughs> what are we doing? Stealth. Now point your four eyes skywards and think invisible. You want to get out and have a real pilot take over, darling? We're changing our heading? We gotta draw him into the open. Oh yeah? How do you plan to do that? Get him to call my bluff. There he is, one o'clock high. Is our speed is decreasing. Maybe I got him worse than we thought. Maybe. Gear down, full flap. Here we go. Hope you have something up your sleeve. The ditching would be a trap. I'm not taking that chance. Die! 
Ай, Джоу! Кобра! Engine 2 is dead. We must withdraw immediately. You'll be shot for this, wild weasel. Keep talking, keep talking. Do you want to nurse this dead stick back to friendly lines? No, I didn't think so. Ace, you okay? Damn. I'll take that as a yes. We're losing speed and altitude. This crate ain't gonna stay airborne for much longer. Gotta punch out. Scratch another expensive warplane. But good pilots are more expensive, right? Terrain looks friendly enough. Oh no. What is it? Jay? Stand by. Jay? My ejection control is fried. Cannon round blew clean through. Oh heck. Distance to the flag? At the rate we were losing power and out, we'd never make it. Okay, we're ditching. For real this time. Watch your step, Ace. One hell of a landing. Anything broken? My nerves are shot. But I think I'm okay. You? Fine. Get it together, soldier. You know, I still have no idea what this was all about. Above your pay grade, Captain. Come on, give me a hint. Misdirection. Make a big noise over here, keep the bad guys from going over there. All of this was a diversion. I hope the objective was worth it. Don't worry, Flyboy. It was worth it. Time for Operation Disco Distraction. What? Clear! Clear. All clear. Trying to beat your own record, Beachhead? Can't be done, low light. <laughs> and check this out. These dummies don't even have painted eyes. Third-rate knockoff garbage. Well, as far as I'm concerned, until we see what's under those devil shades, low light, neither do you. Says the man wearing a ski mask in the blazing sun. That's real rich, Beachhead. Did we break the record? Guys? Come on, sweetheart! Move it, move it, move it, move it! Move it! I've seen Adam West climb walls better than you, Candy Apple! <laughs> Did you just face plant? Pathetic! Maybe it would help if I stuck a cat or an old lady up here. Get out of my sight! Time to quit, old man! <clears throat> and you! Star Trek! All that day glow green tail of yours, you're just slowing down the whole squad. Imagine those rucks are made of plastic. Works for me every time. We better hustle that sci-fi before he tells us to press A to shoot or something. What? Never mind. That joke should land by the year 2000. Yeah. <laughs> 
Payback. So, you guys like to mess around and have fun. What, do you think this is a joke? Do you think any of you clowns are actually G.I. Joe material? You're disgraceful. Every last one of you. Rangers. Marines. Fire department seals. Maybe I should tell on you, General, he'll find more backbone in the Girl Scouts. You cocky recruits think that you're the best? Well, let me remind you. You are nothing. You are nobody. You're not good enough for G.I. Joe. Heck, you're not even good enough to return to your old units. All right, you maggots. Get your sorry tails on that truck and out of my airspace! <laughs> This war game stuff is getting old. Put your brows in sci-fi. Before we got here, you couldn't drive a tank that wasn't coin-operated. Next thing you'll be flying a space shuttle. Fat chance. Don't get me wrong, I can appreciate Joe training as a lot of cross-training. I just wish we had a bit more of the actual Joe hardware to test on. I heard we're getting a new G.I. Joe attack helicopter tomorrow. Who said that? Lift ticket seems pretty sure we're gonna be doing our fast rope descents from now on using the real bird. Yeah, after we wash and polish it first. <laughs> it's the perfect climb. <coughs> a secret show testing range, too secret to have adequate security, is receiving a previously unseen piece of military hardware. Hmm. He will seize it and sell its components to the highest bidder. Seems a bit too perfect. You intel watertight on this one, Fox? Absolutely. We've had an inside man for some time now, Billy. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Shark will get us to the island base under cover of darkness. He successfully navigated their detection systems weeks ago and he knows their weak spot. We'll hike inland and be in position at daybreak to overrun the Joe camp. Will the chopper still be delivered? What if they smell a trap? We will only break cover once the helo is on the deck and powering down. Then it'll be too late for them. Don't underestimate the Joes, even Chinese. They good. But we are better. We are the core. International hero. <laughs> All points, radio check. Oh, Grady, eyes in the motor pool. Croc, my assault team is in position. Billy, covering the helipad. Heads up. Looks like the Joes are going on their morning PT. Five miles with a full combat load, I reckon. You figure their ammunition is live? Always. What do we do now, boss? <sighs> Sit tight, Croc. Eagle, get your team to shadow them. Got it. We're moving out now.
Oh no, you don't. Sarge, looks like we lost Beachhead. Slack bellied army rangers, knew they were all talk. Double back and you make sure he dies from embarrassment. I'll go too. Make sure the marines don't foul this one up. Be sure to pack your flippers, wetsuit. They should come in real handy. Did the joke book come standard issue with the cool hat, Sarge? Punk. What do you reckon, Leatherneck? Figure he got sick? Headed into the bush to lose his lunch? I guess Beachhead ain't so tough after all. Should have brought that sweetheart lifeline in this big box of pity bandages. Wait, what's that? Come on. What are you doing? Shoot him! It's too close. You better be good, Pajamarama. Cause if you're not good, you're next. You think you can drop me before I take him out? Let's find out, shall we? Come on. Come on. These guys were tailing us from the start of the run. They got sloppy. But I doubt they're alone. We gotta double time it back to the others and get a game plan here. This is bad. Real bad. Eagle missed his radio check. All teams, move into your designated zones. Moving out now. Get so. No time to march live rounds over from the shell hole. But once we got armor in play, these amateurs should head for the hills. Insert coin. They would never leave a tank standing with live rounds. Sarge, light him up! It would be my greatest pleasure. Stand clear. <laughs> Reload! Quick! Hit him again, Sarge! They keep on knocking, but they can't come in. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, some. <laughs> Flip! Suppress that sniper! <laughs> Low light's in trouble. Come on, microchip. It's... Mainframe! <laughs> you okay? Pull back! I don't remember calling tech support. Very funny. Where's Gunny? Defragging a hard drive. Now who's the funny guy? Did somebody throw a boomerang at you? Weird. Let's get back to Lifeline and get you checked out. <clears throat> Willy, Tony, take the chopper. Hammer, covering fire. <laughs> Sarge! 
Sarge, the helipad. They're trying to steal my chopper. Sarge, if they get air support, we've had it. Then we can't let that happen now, can we? Come on, boys. You want to live forever? Uh, yeah. This is Dial Tone. We're in trouble here. We're pinned down under the helipad. Can anybody assist? Cypher and me are on the move. Just hang tight, guys. <sighs> Looks like we got some cover. Let's move. How about a game of chicken with a tank? Pull back! Come on, you two! You don't have to tell me twice. Leave it, Hammer! I'm coming! Do we run him down, Sarge? Negative. Lift ticket, you get her airborne. Iceberg! Get up here with the MG! Come on! Move it, Iceberg! Where's the party? <laughs> ah, so kind. They kept the seat warm for me. <laughs> Time to air condition these gung-ho goons. Let's go, lift ticket! Come on, Sypha. Let's play mop up. Beach it, they got us boxed in. Just sit tight. They can't crack this armor. Call in the exterminator. <laughs> Does this count as friendly fire? Well, Iceberg, I guess that depends. Do you consider Beachhead as friendly? Looks like the bad guys are making a run for the coast. They won't get too far in a hurry. Let's pick up the Sarge and the boys. We're gonna run these jokers down. Beachhead, you mop up here. Come on, little lad, get on board. Lifeline, you know what to do. Yo, Joe! Yo, Lifeline! Looks like we got a live one here. What's it gonna be? The carrot? Or the stick? Uh, okay, tough guy. We'll do it your way. Uh. Hey, where are you going? Playing a hunch. Looks 
like they're trying to bug out down the coast. Not in a stolen tank, they're not. They pop the hatch, we drill them. Uh, guys, they've got air support. Hold on tight, everybody. We're hit. Can't keep her aloft. We gotta put her down. Hold on tight. We'll be back, G.I. Joe. Looks like the big fish got away. Well, the thing is, Dalton, there are always more fish. But it looks like G.I. Joe is getting some top new recruits. You guys performed exemplary, and you did it as a team. Now give me a righteous yo! <laughs> Sorry, Sarge. Did I interrupt your monologuing or whatever? <laughs> he was just finishing up. Yo, Joe! Dusty! You kidding? The way we're ducking and weaving, I'd have a fair chance with my Frenchy iron. Well, do it quick! They cracked the engine shroud and we're walking! If you're not worried one of those bullets has your name on it, Grease Monkey? Death is preferable to hiking. Why do you think I got out of the infantry? Yeah! Waste them! <laughs> Show those snakes. Move it, Ripper! Oh, you don't have to tell me twice! Yeah, that's right, you better run. It's almost harder not to hit them. You hit them and we'll never find their face, Flint. Like a bolt from the blue. That ain't a dragonfly. They really don't tell you foot sloggers anything. That's a tomahawk helicopter. Gunship with lifting capabilities here to pull us out of the fire. Thanks, Mr. Exposition. Looks like the hostiles are beating it. You boys be able to get home okay? We're gonna chase these guys and see where they head. Oil pressure and engine temp look good, Jay. Guess these guys didn't hit anything important. We'll pursue on the ground. My word, she's a beauty. With Tomahawk air support, we should be able to get to the objective without any problems. And we've got top cover courtesy of our brand new X-30. Much obliged, Lady J. We hold the skies. Let's track down this hidden Cobra base and give him heck. Okay, you loony. They're following us. Now what do we do, huh? 
No need to crowd these guys, Lip Ticket. Nothing but desert in all directions. They're not getting away. Looks like they're making a beeline for that compound about four miles ahead. If it's true about the Cobra Tunnel Network, we may lose them underground. That's why I brought my Silver Mirage! Whoa! Whoa! What the heck was that? Looks like a small interceptor craft. And it's fast. Came out of nowhere. Well, he won't be around long enough to do any more damage. Oh no, he's going after the Awe Striker! He's come around again, Crankcase! I'm out of moves here! Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Jay, light him up. Oh, sir, that bus saw, guys. I'm on him. And I'd appreciate no friendly fire. Sick him, boy. We've got casualties down there. Must be electronic interference throwing off the guidance systems that are on the guns. Move it, lifeline. Slipstreams are real hot shot, but this cobra is quick enough to punch all our tickets. Come on, Dusty, where are you hurting? I'm fine. Ears are ringing, but I'm okay. Crankcase? My leg's jammed in here. The chassis must be twisted. Ah! Easy, crankcase. Don't pull. Let's work this out. See if you can give him a hand, Jay. We can handle it. We just need more time. Tell Lift Ticket to get that thing in the air instead of sitting on the ground like a big target. Dust off, Lift Ticket. We can dry his fire. Better to be a burning wreck on the ground than a burning wreck falling from the sky, Lady J. What the heck? Oh no, here he comes. Thanks, guys. You boxed him in. Now it's my turn. Come on, you slippery snake. Level out for just one second. <laughs> Whew. Imagine if there were two of them. Nice shooting. Better tell Ace there's a new sheriff in town. That was too close. No shoot, neither. I wonder if it was man. Drone computers can't maneuver like that, Slipstream. This is 1986, not 2006. And this is Cobra, guys. Nothing's impossible, and something tells me they're up to something big out here. Lift ticket, take us down. It's time to unpack the Mirage and do some digging. You got it, LJ. It's definitely an entrance to some underground installation. Well hidden, too. Our aerial photography of the area would have never revealed it. Come on, guys, let me go with you. My ears ain't even ringing no more. Then who's gonna get us out of trouble, Dusty? You boys owe us one, remember? Besides, who's going to be on the door gun for the ride home? Lifeline? Get going. Be careful, guys. If you don't like the look of things, get out. I love saving lives, but one per day is plenty, thank you very much. Easy, Captain Aikido. I could have gotten myself out of that jam. Right.
they come in? Just a pair of them. Nice looking bike though. <laughs> you get the bike, I'll get the girl. <laughs> as long as you get them. You know old Egghead don't like interruptions. <laughs> Through with you, you'll be begging for a bullet. Where's your boyfriend? Right here. <laughs> 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 Okay. Peachy, let's put this Cobra Honcho in the bag and call in the cavalry. I love it when you talk like that. It's over. Back up from the console real slow. Now. <laughs> I'm not joking. On your knees with your hands on your head. Not gonna ask again. Did you think I would entrust your elimination to those, Cretan? You were permitted to enter my sanctum and now you will fall to the genius of Mindbender. Okay, that's it.
Flint, look out! Your morality makes you weak, woman. Had the tables been turned, I would have killed you. Surrender yourself. Your situation is hopeless. Your comrade is at my feet and at my mercy. We're dead either way. Might as well make this interesting. Talk is cheap. You have three seconds before this fool finds his way to a closed casket. Three... Two... One... Okay! Overconfident fools! What did you hope to achieve? Two lone heroes! The rest will come. I hope so. Now, what was it you said to me? On your knees and put your hands on your head? We should help old Baldy. Sure. No need to jump to it. We are cretin after all. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, sweetie. Night, night. It doesn't look like they left anything for us. Dress them in black and call them snake eyes. Pardon? Don't worry, you new guys will meet him soon enough. Sounds like someone we ought to be shooting at. <laughs> Good luck! <sighs> so much for the cavalry. This all of them? There were more, but the fighting brought down the roof of the tunnel. So, no major Cobra base down there? Negative. Looks like it's been vacated before these guys took up residence. Not even sure if they have any real link to Cobra or if they're a bunch of wannabe hired guns. Yeah, but what about that jet? Could have scrambled from anywhere. Even a short-range interceptor like that could have come at us from anywhere within a 400-mile radius. Hulk's gonna want a debrief. He'll get one, in person. You're awake. I spend so much of my time alone down here. Sometimes I really crave an audience. What are you doing? A little bit of suggestion. A little bit of stimulation. Forgive me, our time is short, so this may hurt. A lot. What the heck are you going to do to me? You, my dear, are going to witness firsthand why they call me Dr. Mindbender. <laughs>
Got three live ones in there, Shippy. I'll clap them in irons for your ladyship. I wouldn't say many Joes are as enthusiastic about a debrief as you are, Lady J. What have you got for me? There's a major network out there, Hawk. Sophisticated weapons, key personnel. We've just seen the tip of the iceberg. What up, LJ? Hey, Iceberg. Looks like we're gonna have to get more boots on the ground to weed Cobra out. Slipstream reported a new attack plane that gave you guys some trouble. Jay? Jay? You okay? Hmm? It's probably nothing. Head's fuzzy, maybe hearing damage. The fighting down there got pretty fierce. Yeah, like I say, probably nothing. Check in with Doc. He's had about as much of crankcase as anyone can handle. Okay? Sure. got stuff this time. Thrasher and Monkey Wrench are probably laughing their heads off by now. No, Ripper. You are precisely where you ought to be. Everything is proceeding according to plan. <laughs> Bloody egg. Wait a minute, who are you and how did you get it? Ah! Uh. Nicely, Nicely done, done, sister. Out, out of my way. way. There is no cage in this world strong enough to hold Zartan. Silence. Or be silenced. Once I leave the brig, the holographic illusion will be broken. Things must be kept... authentic. But... but I can help! You want to sink this flaming boat? I can do it! Be a good boy, we'll be back for you soon. Wait! Not so tough now, teacup. I'll knock your stupid village people grin sideways for ya. Wake up. What oh, blimmin' well dare you. Do my eyes deceive me, or did the Joe who single-handedly took out an enemy stronghold and secure three prisoners just walk into my humble infirmary? Stick to the pill rolling, Doc. Flattery ain't your style. Oh, you don't like it? My new bedside manor has the whole team finding excuses to visit. Crank over here flipped his buggy. I didn't flip my buggy. Yeah, yeah. We all heard it already. LJ, what's up? Head's real foggy, Doc. I'm not surprised. Concussive forces are gonna mess you up, particularly in enclosed environments like caves. I just had Lifeline on the radio and he's got his hands full at our FOB cleaning flint back up. He okay? Oh, don't worry. He'll be just fine. Got some nasty burns on his back, though. But chicks stick a guy with scars, right? <laughs> Hop up on the bed, Jay. Let's check you out. No flaming way. It can't be. Of all the flaming places. Carol, what? Oh. <laughs> what am I going to do with you, Blaine?
What's that blasted bird doing on the bridge? Shipwreck? It's my boat, Cutter. And that blasted bird can go wherever he pleases. What's the matter, Polly? Shipwreck's a drunken sailor! <laughs> you don't say. Should I put him back on latrine duty? Every time! Shipwreck's a drunken sailor! Where is the old pirate anyway? I thought the two of you were inseparable. Gonna get it now, shipwreck's a drunken sailor! You bet he is. He should be taking better care of you, Polly. You wander onto the flight deck and we could have some real trouble. Wouldn't want you getting hurt now. More like you wouldn't want an expensive jet pulled for a bird strike. Stow it, Coast Guardsman. Yes, Style Tone? Get me shipwreck. He should be on duty in the brig with our guests. No response. Heck. Get a security detail down there now! this flaming cell or I will break his neck. Be my guest, whack job. You think I'm mad? He's your mate. Wait, he's right. That's shipwreck. Oh man. Hardware on the floor and open this cell. Be cool, man. Like ice. No need to do anything hasty. Do it now! Okay, man. Now back up slow. Get him, boy! <laughs> Doc says if we'd gotten here any later, Shippy would have gone into cardiac arrest. That was a powerful paralytic toxin. Small mercies. Three went into that cell, only one was left behind. That means there are two highly dangerous individuals at large on my ship. Condition red. I want them found. Now! What's the situation, Admiral? Two very dangerous enemy operatives are currently at large on my ship. But it won't be for long. Every Joe on board is on high alert. We'll find him. But if we don't, maybe there is some wisdom in getting the command staff out of here. What you're suggesting sounds a lot like running away from the fight, Keelhole. Spare me the lecture, Hawk. It's my ship and I'll go down with her if I have to. No sense in you coming in after me. You pulling rank on me? No, but I'll have lift tickets spinning his props over on the aft deck anyway. It is my hope, General, for the sake of this force that you built and maintained, that if things go south, you'll be on it. I'll keep that in mind. What are the details of the search progress? Can't keep an old soldier down, eh? Who are you calling old? Let's go inside. What is it, Junk? Sick of my boy. Junk? Mindbender's methods have predictably fallen into nothing. But Zartan will convert his failure to success. Cover girl? When did you get aboard? What happened to Mainframe? Chop her in with the prisoners. He's unconscious. Give me a hand, will ya? Sure. Uh, we taking him to sickbay? No way, sweetheart. 
We head into those nifty flying subs G.I. Joe's got, and we get in the heck out of here. What? Who are you? Shushies, Joe. Be a good lad and you might survive this encounter. Mine. You're out of your mind if you think you can get off a G.I. Joe carrier on a stolen sub. I'll take my chances. Everyone here's got enough to worry about anyway. Thanks for the help, chum. <coughs> Sorry, love. Freeze! Oh, if it's not one thing, it's the... Shut up! I have had quite a day. So if you don't mind just shutting up, maybe we can get to the bottom of why Covergirl is on this ship, when I can remember clearly leaving the desert without her. Time to find out if Old Egghead knows his stuff or not. Don't you have a job to do? What? Stay back. Isn't there someone you have to kill? No! Don't fight it, love. Now run along, there's a good girl. You have a mission. There is nothing but the mission. The mission? Get. It. Done. The mission. Tripwire, go ahead. These guys came in light. The booby traps are improvised and not too difficult to dismantle. Trouble is, there's no telling how many they set up. Where did you find the first? Conquest fuel line. A flare was rigged to ignite if anyone attempted to top off the wing tanks. Jet fuel burning up in an enclosed space. Might have defeated the anti-flashback on the tanker. I'm suspending all activity until we cover every sabotage possibility. So we can't launch fighters? Just do your job, soldier, and don't make any mistakes. Clearing this boat is now our only concern. <laughs> Where's Hawk? I want to move to our landward base, now. With our aircraft grounded, we're a sitting duck. Looks like he's heading for the Tomahawk, Admiral. Good. Tung. Ah! Who put that there, anyway? General. What? No! I have made contact with one of our inside operatives. She informs me that the USS flag is in a state of disarray and unable to launch fighters. And the leader of G.I. Joe has been gunned down. May we press the attack? No. Even without a fighter patrol, the carrier is too well defended for your drones. Leave this to me. As you wish, Commander. Your brainwashing procedure has been a stunning success, Doctor. If... What you're telling me is true and Hawk is dead. But if he lives, it would be most unfortunate for you. Boop. Send up the Raven. What in the Sam Hill is this? Halloween? Who is this clown and how is he wearing my face? Whoever he is, I'm gonna do my very best to save him. That's my job. And I'm not gonna stop you, much as I'd like to. Let me know when this slime can answer questions. Have none of my birds been cleared for booby traps? Why is this taking so long? If a Sky Striker bursts into flames up there, it's your ass. It bursts into flames on the flight deck or the hangar, it's my crew and my ship, and that would suit the bad guys just fine, Ace. Sometimes you just gotta wait it out. This is bull and you know it. The bad guys know we're hurting, and that's exactly when they make their move. I can read the cards on this one, and that's what's been dealt. This isn't time for gambling, Ace. You really needed more chess and less hold'em in your formative years, boy. Or Space Invaders? What? We're on the surface, we've got anti-aircraft missiles, we can... blast the... space invaders? Ah, forget it. Hawk! I saw you take a bullet to the chest! You Kevlar up? Our saboteur took the bullet for me. 
Turns out he's been trading on my good looks. Literally. Some kind of impersonation act. What? The bad guys can do that? Should we be instituting additional security checks? Not if it slows down clearing the ship. Jay tagged one bad guy, the other stole a shark, and the third is getting leaned on in the brig. Not our finest hour. The Cobra in the brig say anything useful? No, he was a fall guy. They didn't tell him much by the sounds of it. Where does that leave us? Waiting for the bad guys to take the first shot! That's enough! Maybe if you were Navy, you'd have learned some respect. Intermittent blip on long-range radar! Ow! Okay, that's it! There she blows! What have you got, Thunder? Bubkiss. But I swear I saw it for a second. Enemy stealth, gotta be. So now they've got a stealth? Come on, Keelhaul. You used to be a jet jock. You know the score. Put me up there where I can do some good. That's right, young man. I used to be a jet jock. Planes are for boys. You live long enough, they give you the boat. But if you're so quick to throw your life away, I'm not gonna stop you. We can't see him on instruments and the sun's going down. What do you hope to do? He's probably a lousy dogfighter, sir. If we see him, we'll chew him up. Big if. We gotta try. It's one heck of a gamble. Cards? <laughs> I never lose. Get moving. Thunder, get that last scene location triangulated and vector our boys in on it. <laughs> Tripwire. Clear a Sky Striker and a Conquest and get him on the ready line. We're scrambling him. Heaven help us. Payload. Um, target within range. Open bay doors. Doors open. Got anything, Ace? Negative. He's a ghost. At the rate he was closing before we lost contact, he should be in your visual range now. Stay sharp, boys. He's out there. Two bogies at five miles. They can't see us. Complete the mission. Do we have a lock? Primary target is locked. Anti-ship one. Fire. <laughs> he just lit up a missile. I just picked him up. Break! Can't lock him. Let's get on his six and put some holes in him. Weapon is running. Disengaging. Let's give them something to remember us by. Missile on my six! Wait! Two missiles! Two signals just split into four! We got missiles everywhere! Evasive maneuvers! Countermeasures! Well, Jimmy, looks like you're the tip of the spear here, you know? Maybe this is what the Death Dog Gunners felt like when Luke was doing his trench run. Beep, 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 beep. 
Jiminy, here it comes. Come on, come on. Whew. They say you never hear the one that gets you. Did we get it? Any more incoming? We got it, sir. Threat boards are clear. What about our birds? Ace reports they've succeeded in evading the enemy missiles. They're searching for the bogey. That slippery snake must be in another time zone by now. Get a combat air patrol up there and relieve them as soon as possible. Looks like the USS Flag lives to fight another day. Yeah. But what next, Hawk? I fear we've gravely underestimated our enemy. Underground bases, spies that can assume our identities, now stealth weapons. I hope you've got a plan. I do. We take the fight to them. So we found our way down to the underground base. It was deserted. Lights and ventilation were failing in most areas. Reached the nerve center. Nothing. Found the start of their escape tunnel. Smelled like someone was burning jet fuel down there. Whatever the bad guys rode out of here, they lit up in a hurry. Hope we weren't alone. Help me! It's trying to kill Get me! Get down! There's no time! It doesn't care! It'll Reach kill down. us all! The floor! Right now! The hell with you! Get back here! Seems Cobra had left a little insurance policy. Tech boys can have whatever's left of it, but all I'm saying is we were damn lucky there weren't more of those things. Got a possible heading for the bad guys? Assuming the escape tunnel doesn't make any drastic course changes? 117 degrees. That's a beeline for the coast. There's a little inlet we flew over this afternoon, perfect for a landing party. Thanks, Beach. Cross country, you listening? That's a big 10-4, LT. We're moving up the coast on that position now. Roadblock. Tear him a new one. Lasers are red, cobras are blue. Nothing rhymes with orange, so I'm coming for you. You run amok, you're out of luck. Cause I'm gonna make you chickens cluck, cluck, cluck. Our salvation awaits. I knew the commander would not leave me. Shut up and put this on. <laughs> Oi, where's ours? Our orders only mentioned Muscle Mary over there. You pretty boys can float on the breeze like the scum you are. You son of a... <laughs> Easy. It would really be the highlight of my day to ventilate you losers. I doubt the higher-ups would kick up a fuss if we lost some ballast around here. <laughs> The I see it is you can either turn yourself over to the Joes or eat a bullet. Your choice. Maybe I send flowers. Hey, what's your name? Kozlov. Lieutenant Kozlov. Look me up. Should be fun. Be sure to check under the bed from now on, Kozlov. <laughs>
on. Head back into town, lie low. Let's move it before G.I. Joe is on us like flies on I'm sh good looking, I love cooking, and you fools better be booking. I'm gonna turn that goofy gold card into a sweet piece of modern art. Move it, lads. Slytherin coward, cause you know Roblox got the power. You better hit that gas. When I catch up, it's gonna be your ass. He's coming back around. Let him come. Which part of this car is your mother? Cause one half is way uglier than the other. Here he comes. Fresh out of the kitchen, leave those coca creeps twitching. Yeah, let's break some snakes. Man, old buddy, don't let me down. Come on. If I get pasted on those cliffs, it's gonna make some nasty hieroglyphs. Come here, baby. Time to play those fools a lullaby. Once I double time it back down there. Whew. That show got too cocky. Russia! Burn it! Yeah! This is what I'm talking about! We'll never catch that thing. She's rocket powered. We don't have to catch her, Clutch. Just dog her till she runs out of gas. Meantime, we can let them know we're here and we mean business. They've got our range! He's in behind us, over on our right. Hold on! There you are. What? Hang on, boys. Ooh, I'm mad now. He almost put holes in my baby. Auto guns are tracking. Fire! How did he do that? Don't know, don't care. We've got about 70 rounds left, and I'm not falling for it twice. She's closing in fast. No more playing around with these guys. Missile locked on. Locked. Fire! Russia! I see it. <laughs> I'm out! Damn it! Pass on their left. I've got a present for them. What in blazes? He's going to ram us. Love me a game of chicken, but cross country will never forgive me. Four cannons are tracking. Fire! Wait till they get close. No more mistakes. This time we plant one of Welshie's charges right up there. Oh, hello again, boys. Did you miss me? They were just waiting at the coast? Must have missed a pickup from a sub. Or the sub missed them. Either way, the chances are high there's an enemy submarine just off the coast in that region. We've got sharks in a search pattern, and a recovery dive team moving out of station. Do it. Where are you going? Tying up some loose ends. What's the plan, Torp? Big ocean out there. Prototype Nightshade is optimized for night ops. Short range look down sonar is our best shot of finding her. Assuming there's something to find. Wetsuit, I think I got something. Small, quick, definitely making good depth and distance. Put down on the surface and guide me in. I'm heading downstairs.
You crazy mother <laughs> wetsuit. Sit tight, I'm on you. I almost had him. You're almost gonna get out of this with some minor surgery. Flag, this is Torpedo. Wetsuit and me are heading back. He got cut up pretty bad. Doc, this is Dial Tone. Bad news. Looks like we got another casualty. ETA on wetsuit is four minutes. Sounds like a penetrating injury and several lacerations. I'll be ready for him. How's the patient? Stable. But here's the thing. For an imposter, he's looking a little too close to the real thing. So I tested his blood type. Won't you have a look? <laughs> Certainly, doctor. You see, Hawk's type is O negative. And? And the guy on the bed with the chest wound's blood type is O negative. Pathetic. A civilian doctor working for G.I. Joe. And you thought you could stop me? Worth a shot. Sweet dreams. Now to finish this. Can't a guy get any rest and recovery around here? Okay, tough guy. You want him? You gotta go through me. Very well. No! Hey, what are you doing? Out of my way! Sure showed him. Even the damn bird's a comedian. Oh, hi, fellas. You just missed my dance partner. Had to run off before she turned into a pumpkin or whatever. Don't mind me. I think I'm gonna pass out now. I spent 48 hours clearing the ship, and he's probably gonna get the medal. Carol? I'm here. Everything is okay. Like hell it is! You drugged me! What the hell were you doing on the flag? I could ask you the same thing. You're no low-level Pentagon tech consultant. And neither are you. What have you done? What has to be done? You never did see the bigger picture. You drugged me? You kidnapped me? Why? I couldn't leave you behind. Our orders were, were to- Were to sink the boat? With all hands? How could you? I saved your life. You're welcome. My brothers and sisters were on that boat. You're gonna answer for what you've done, and so will your master. Sorry you can't see things my way, love. I guess a white picket fence was never in our future. Don't you dare try that on me! So their leader is bedridden but not dead. And our research station was successfully evacuated? Correct, Commander. Yes. And the USS flag is unharmed. <clears throat> yes, Commander. Ah, oh, well.
At least those bikers are no longer on the payroll. <laughs> Looks like you're up, Bazooka. Got a coded message from a deep agent that Cobras upgraded themselves to nuclear weapons research. In China. Don't know if I'm much good to you there, Hawk. Nukes are a bit higher than my pay grade. You know enough to determine whether they have all the components necessary for one, though. And that's the kind of intel we need right now. Covert ops inside Red China? And I'm your sacrificial lamb? Great. You complaining, soldier? Just grousing, sir. I can determine nuclear preparedness, sure. But that's just one part of a very complex mission. You won't be alone. We've got a contact who will meet you in Hong Kong. Works in Chop Saki movies. Stunt guy. Big talker, you'll love him. Your cover will be as a Hollywood pyrotechnics consultant. He'll smuggle you across the bay and into China. Just me and one local? And our deep cover guy. Codename Snake Eyes. Heard some of the older guys talking about him. Scary dude. Yeah, scary dude. What's our play if the bad guys have got nuclear capability? An international terrorist organization producing weapons of mass destruction within the borders of a major world power? Dig yourself a very deep bunker and tell your sweetheart that you love her. I never know what to order at these places. You just get off set or what? Nah, comfort is king, baby. Good thing this joint isn't a no shirt, no service. How's the accommodation? Fine. Wouldn't mind a change of scenery, though. Straight to the point. I like it. Kowloon Harbor, Pier 17. 3 a.m. and don't be late. Finding fishermen who agree to accidentally pass into Chinese waters ain't easy, partner. What do I call you? Quick kick. Bazooka.
We're getting a lot closer to discovering their supply line. We've got a working theory that supplies of uranium are entering the country from the USSR at Lake Konka and avoids any kind of customs by being marked as conventional ammunition and using military transportation. The shipment is then loaded onto a train and disembarked at a secure location near Changchun. My speculation is that a third party with international weapons contacts is being used both by the USSR and the PRC to make this happen. Neither nation is particularly pally-pally right now. This has Cobra written all over it, and the warmer we get, the more apparent it is. We'll update after new evidence comes to light. Okay, quick kick. Get that cassette over to the dead drop and back lickety split. And on your way back, get the Shadow Man up here. We've got a mission to plan. You got it, big guy. And put on some shoes. No way. They'll never hear me coming. First thing, we gotta gain control of the tower. That's a one-man job. We observe the guards running radio checks every four. So the clock's ticking as soon as those boys are out of play. With the spotlight looking everywhere but us, we're free to cross the open ground to the storage facility. Main door is a no-no, but a skilled climber can free climb the exterior guttering and put himself on the roof. Extending a friendly rope to his buddy. <laughs> Noise discipline is of utmost importance. We'll time it when the foot patrol is on the far side of the building, and there will be no time for dawdling. Bazooka, check this out. Mercy me. This is the stuff, all right. 
The anti-tamper system is engaged, but this is definitely the casings the Soviets use to transport uranium for tactical nukes. I found missile guidance systems back there. But they sure as shooting ain't assembling them in this dump. This must be just a holding facility. What else do they have here? Probably some knockoff Nikes. Our envelope is almost exceeded. Time to go. Yeah, photograph everything. Let's wrap this up. That wasn't a Chinese gun. But that was. First one sounded like Snake's Uzi. He's running interference for us. Let's book it. Oh no. What is it? Last piece of the puzzle. Cobra. You gotta split now. Zook, I'll just slow you down. Snake Eyes played his hand. Now it's my turn. We all go home or nobody goes home. Don't give me that slaughterhouse crap. You gotta get that intel to Hawk or this has all been for nothing. Go! the hardware now or we drop you slowly you've got guts whoever you are but this is the end of the road Trouble with these Chinese facilities, they never secure the rooftops.
I have mastered the ear that sees. The shadows cannot hide you. Tired of running, old man? Damn it. Thought this uniform would last more than one outing before it got shredded. Don't be smug. You landed the first strike, sure. But take a closer look at your stun grenade and you might find an earring where the pin used to be. I'm not stupid enough to think I can take the legendary snake eyes with the blade. Your technique gives you away. You are a disciple of the Arshikage. There are many matters that must be discussed. You've been busy. Look, I'll get right to the point. The clan is in danger of tearing itself apart. There is a dispute of leadership, and unless cooler heads prevail, the Arshikage will descend into bloody infighting. The wisdom of the Hardmaster has been retained for about as long as anyone could have hoped, but the rot now threatens the whole tree. It must be carved out. The spirit of the Hard Master's teachings live in you. He named you successor. You, the outsider. It was a decision that cost him his life and turned his prized pupil to the dark. Enough damage has been done. Please, come with me and make things right. <laughs> Call in the chopper. Let him know we found this guy. I'll cover you. Eight ball to secret two. Request immediate rooftop exfil. Grandview Plaza. Shh. Copy that. Eight ball secret two on route. Rooftop Glenview Plaza. ETA four minutes. Thank <laughs> you.
Piper! Hey! You okay? Ugh. Miracle you can hear anything in that bucket. Do you know where we're going, Master? Hmm. Go to China, they said. Track down the Solid Master, they said. Collect the dimensions of terrorism and machine guns. We have come too far to be compromised. He's just one man. We rounded up all his friends. Which only makes him more unpredictable than ever. He has evaded us for weeks now. But the noose is tightening. Our kill squads will root him out. It's only a matter of time. Are you sure? Excellent. Is he dead? Who found him? Squad 6. Only one boarded the helicopter. Well, he will be receiving his teammates' bonuses. Prep the helipad, we shall receive him personally. He's got a flair for the dramatic, I'll give him that. You can't be serious. The pilot confirmed that he was dead. I trust pilots to fly. So it's a trap then? Indubitably. And we've just invited him in. Redirect the flight? Too late for that. A sudden course change will arouse suspicion. No, containment is our strategy. He doesn't know that we expect him, and as you say, he's just one man. Viper Squad, what's the situation? Chopper about to touch down! We have the pad surrounded and two fire teams are ready to go! The pilot has been secured! Vipers, move it out! Assault team is moving up to the ramp now! What's going on? The ramp door was booby trapped. The helo is on fire. We got a problem, sir. Get that fire taken care of. Where is he? No idea, sir. It's a total mess up here. Well, clean it up and bring me a body. Perhaps it's time to leave. But he's just one man. A very troublesome man. And now he's brought the fight to us. Extensive Enterprises is merely leasing this building. We stand to lose nothing more than a security deposit if we discreetly exit now. I want his head! When the time is right, let's go. I can't believe we're retreating. We have numerical superiority. Perhaps you want to lead the charge then. Our personal safety is compromised, brother. Lesser men exist to do the dying. We leave. Now. Where is he? Where? <laughs> Gun fire picked up on CCTV level 18 corridor B. Proceed with extreme caution. What's our backup? 
No response. All other units are committed. Let's nail this guy and show him how it's done. Quiet. Lights are out in corridor B. We really should have IR gear for this. You awake? How you feeling? I'll live. Stick to stunting. I don't think you'll ever be ready for your close-up now. <laughs> Bazooka, you are the worst. Heads up. I think help might be on the way. You! Police up those prisoners and move them down to the garage level for immediate transport. All right, you two. On your feet and back away from the bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Snake! I heard the explosion and figured it was you. <coughs> Who's that? You can call me, uh, the Storm Shadow. <coughs> they have a mouthful, but okay. I'm Quick Kick. And you're Slow Cake? Cute. I'm Bazooka. What's the exit strategy? Base is going ballistic by the sounds. Gotcha. Don't know if you heard, Snakes, but the honchos of this operation were having us move to the underground garage for transport. If we hurry down, we might tag us some Class A bad guys. We're still pretty outnumbered here. We have the element of surprise. I'm with the Shadow Lady. What's wrong, Kick? You sign up for the nifty pension plan? Ha ha. You as funny as a head wound. You want to survive this, you keep your head down and your hands right where I can see them. Understood? a boy. These guys started an array sequence. You cancel it? Of course. Pop the drives, take whatever you can carry. Nice samurai swords. Lend me one? Forget it. Scared my technique is better than yours? We survive this and I'll have you calling me master, boy. Just me, or does it feel like the lights came on and we're the only ones left on the dance floor? Cut it. Cobra's gone. I'm sure this place will be crawling with local police any second now. Let's get scarce before we succeed in trading one prison cell for another. The intel Bazooka's team provided was spotty, but the boys in the lab were able to piece together enough to give us some pretty damning information. Mainframe, you've all received the written report. The two factors Hawk would like me to bring your attention to are one, we have the location of Cobra's missile base in China. And two, after the, uh, <coughs> dirty work performed by Bazooka's team at their storage facility and their office building, we know that Cobra's relations with China are shaken. Things are at a tipping point for Cobra's whole operation, and our spooks in Beijing believe at this stage all we need is a little shove. We have a presidential green light to rattle Cobra's good standing in China. A strike on their missile base in Huashan Mountains is just what we need to do it. Shoot the fire! That old region is a no-go, Hawk. And China's got sufficient air defense to make this a certified one-way trip. Unless you got a nifty 117 up your sleeve that ain't nobody been briefed about. No. If we're gonna do this, we need to do it low and slow. What have you got for us, Steeler? Well, down there now, we got a dedicated cold weather weapons platform that has the range to get within striking distance. It can be modified to carry a payload of missiles that will certainly make a mess of things without having to red up a nuclear catastrophe. Shockwave HE-27s. Sorry, Steeler, I figured that was my cue. Might as well, Dan. All the ends are done now. 
This here is Fast Draw, new missile specialist who made the GI Bill while Bazooka was beating the living daylights out of China. Fast Draw, huh? You a gunslinger? Only when it comes to fire and forget anti-armor systems. Boy, howdy. Please continue. The HE-27 is a very quick, medium-range surface-to-surface missile. It has terrific versatility. With a forward-looking infrared camera, it can either ride in on the beam emitted from the launcher, or from a remote beam emitter. What's more, missiles can be fired from a blind position, make target acquisition at the top of its trajectory, cut the engines, and glide in. This effectively gives the munition one-third more range. If we can get the system over air in the valley below, we should be able to make the shot. Fact of the matter is, we'll need a man with a line of sight to paint the target. I've got the guy. Just one man? That man is an Olympic class athlete, a survivalist, and possibly the best con man on the team. You give him any backup, and they'll only slow him down. Besides, I've got to get him out of the barracks or rock and roll might just take his head off. What's that all about? Something to do with Gung Ho's sister. I don't know. It's a three day hike from the sub drop off, but there's a hitch. The route intersects one of the most popular tourist attractions on the planet. I'm all for sightseeing, but won't an armed American soldier be a little conspicuous on the Great Wall of China? I'm disappointed in your geography, Duke. That route does cross the wall, sure. But that section hasn't been open to the public for over 50 years. Have your guy take a few tourist snaps for us. Boy, oh boy. Ten below and no snow. I could have elected for a shorter code name. Matchbox to Orphan Annie. Come in, Orphan Annie. About time you guys showed up. I'm gonna scout the cliff. We are way too exposed out here. Better hustle. Clouds coming in. We're gonna be target obscured in a few minutes. Or less. But for now, I have a clear line of sight. <laughs> You just keep that IR beam lined up. The package is en route. Now or never, Frosty! <laughs> Not much room between the mountain peaks and the cloud ceiling. I hope these missiles are up to it. More good hits. The base is going crazy. Target scares. And Frosty? Looks like they've launched some kind of low-flying aircraft. They'll never spot us in this suit, and we'll be miles away once we're under it in the low country. See you with the rendezvous. Don't be late. We've got a sub to catch. They'd be out of their minds to put a gunship up in this weather. They say you never hear the one that gets you. Stupid saying. Dead men don't say nothing.
It's no job. What took you? Dragging your tail again, huh? We're about two minutes from leaving you behind. What? You mean you guys never... Never what? Never mind. Just get on board. We got no time for ski bums who keep their buddies waiting. Snow job. More like slow job. See what I've been dealing with? Dude's had a bad attitude since we hit the ice. Oh, joy. Now it's gonna be a real cramped camp. Seems you're up for a medal, Bazooka. But since this mission isn't likely to ever be declassified, you're gonna have to make do with a snazzy photograph of it. Intel reports that Cobra's out on their scaly tails. The People's Army have terminated their contracts and their bases are being packed up and folded into the Chinese military complex. Mission accomplished, soldier. How's Quick Kick? We've pulled him from all covert ops until things cool down. While he's still rostered as an intelligence operative, we might be placing him on strike teams. Chances are high you'll be working in the field with him again. Great. More wisecracking from a shirtless Bruce Lee hack. The real reason I called you in is that we need a testimonial. Snake Eyes has requested that this new operative be given probationary Joe status. I think he wants to keep an eye on her. What do you know? About her? Cool head in a fight. Scary good with those swords. Fast mouth. And she definitely knows her way around Cobra information systems in a pinch. I believe she calls herself... The Storm Shadow? Well, that code name has gotta go. I don't know, sir, she kept up with Snake Eyes like nobody else I know. And there's no way of knowing the final tally, but she took down heavily armed Cobra soldiers on their own turf, quiet and clean. She's a real rabbit's foot, and I'd like to keep her on our side. Rabbit's foot, huh? Good luck for us, bad luck for Cobra. I suppose we should keep jinxing him if we can. Would you advise that she be put through the slaughterhouse? For an attitude adjustment, maybe. But she'll run the Sarge's gauntlet like no other Joe recruit ever did. Unless I missed my guess, I think she's from the same clan of ninjas that Snake Eyes came from. She's good, Hawk. But where do her loyalties lie? <laughs> with the good guys, I hope? Seriously, though, I think her loyalty lies with Snake. She'll follow him wherever he goes and do exactly what he asks. She's a U.S. citizen, and she's spilled plenty Cobra blood. If she's a Cobra plant, then I think I resign, because that's a whole nother level of fanaticism. Thank you, Bazooka, that'll be all. Jinx. You should call her Jinx. Jinx. Our bad luck lady. I like it. Ninjas and spies, sir. Things have come a long way from driving a tank in the third armor. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. Okay, sister, I'm not playing.
I hate guns, but I love a good workout. Let's put that evil training to the test. Where the hell is that minivac? Ditch that dry MG! It's just weighing us down! Rick! Rick, my ankle. My ankle. I can't. Can't breathe in this bucket! Okay, here we go. Everybody got wasted. Nobody's coming for us. Hey, can that? What do, you, what do you think happens now? What's gonna happen? You're gonna get back on that busted leg, and we're gonna go home, you hear? Combat simulation has verified the effectiveness of the Mars product, Commander. A volunteer unit of Vipers, equal number and weapon strength to the opposition, was sent in and completely wiped out. No eyewitnesses survived and no one will be able to verify the mission's true purpose. Total secrecy has been ensured and only the agents in this chamber will have any recollection of the outcome. What is it, Major? Sir, I... Uh... It would appear two members of the Viper team not only survived, but made it back to a field base. What? They're currently receiving medical attention. The report goes on to say... A charter of flight immediately to the base. Those men are to be isolated. No contact with anyone. Take care of it. Personally. And make it look like an accident. I will not tolerate a drop in morale. I will ensure their silence, Commander. You had better, Major. Or you will only have ensured your own. Now get out of my sight. All hail! All hail! This isn't right. The whole team got smeared. You and me go through hell to get here. Now we're locked up. What did you expect? Parade in a medal? Yeah, I suppose. Richard Cecil. Felix Stratton. Viper Unit Wolf Spain? Who wants to know? Get up. You're going for a ride. On your feet, boy. You follow my lead, okay? That'll do nicely. In the ATV right through here. You must have a good third if you ask me. Those quads have such a terrible safety record. It's a wonder why we feel them at all. Well, Sarge, maybe we can salvage some parts from the wreckage. We just need a pair of real heroes to go down after it and play fetch. That's a terrific idea, Corporal. Well, let's relieve them of those shackles. They're plenty heavy to reach the bottom without any help.
Your choice, boys. Make with the sky, or eat a bullet. Go to hell, Rick. You first. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Rick! Get going. We need to get you some help. Kill those, kill those guys, Strat. Find him. Kill him. Rick. Rick. Captured Cobra personnel clogging our detention centers. What makes this guy so special? We didn't capture him, Hawk. He brought himself in. Defector, huh? Or a Trojan horse? Not according to Psychout's evaluation. Cobra deliberately wiped out his unit. And when they learned he'd survived, they did their damnedest to finish the job. He's got beef. Heck, it, it wouldn't be an understatement to say he wants to burn the whole thing down. You're suggesting we put him into the field with Joe's? I'm not comfortable signing off on that. I I'm not saying that, Hawk. I certainly wouldn't want him covering my back. But we put him through the slaughterhouse, and maybe we'll find out if he bleeds green or blue. He's low level in Cobra, but he is a field officer. There are things he knows better than anyone else. Procedures, tactics, base layouts, potential targets. We can deploy him where he can do the most damage without Joe catching the flak. And if he goes rogue, the dog and the bull put him down. If Slaughter doesn't see to it personally. The who? Slaughter's lined up a few assets even you haven't been briefed on, Scarlet. Maybe this ex-Cobra Viper will fit right in. Disease and welcome to the slaughterhouse. No, no. <laughs> the battle android trooper fully capable of operating a wide array of single occupant cobra vehicles with ruthless efficiency 
but I'm sure you'll agree that the Buzzbore system has some unorthodox applications, Commander. I don't need the sales pitch. This is all already paid for, Destro. When will mass production begin, and how soon can I have my initial order ready for deployment? Soon, Commander. Very soon. Allow me to introduce Voltar, who commands my Iron Grenadiers and is charged with overseeing this operation. A pleasure, Commander. Our secret construction line at this location has been fully set up. Raw materials stockpiled and the necessary work detail already on site. The first 100 units will be rolling off before the month is up. The time approaches that will with due decision make us know what we shall say we have and what we owe. Macbeth? Pandering to my heritage? Perhaps. Or perhaps a caution against overpromising and underdelivering. Come, Commander. I would like to show you some accoutrement of a more personal nature. But I'm curious. What was that man's crime? The most heinous crime of all. Failure. It's go time, sleeping beauty. Let's see how good a snake can run. Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughterhouse. Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughterhouse. Separates them and from the mouse. Separates them and from the mouse. In the ring or battlefield. In the ring or battlefield. We make our opponent yield. We make our opponent yield. Sound off. Yo, Joe. Let's go. Yo, Joe. I can't hear you, maggot. Nice of you to join us. Even that wet nurse lifeline could have made it up here quicker. You look like a wet tissue in the breeze. Pathetic. Cobra vipers. Huh. More like dirty ass wipers. Recommence push ups now. 121. Come on, Yardbird. Push us. 122. We're gonna sweat that venom right out of here. 120. Uh. I lost count. Start again. You puke. You maggot. You slime. Kiss that dirt like you're kissing your mama. Better. Not perfect, but better. Session 5, June 27th, 1987. Subject, Felix Stratton. Codename, Chuckles Interviewing. We spoke last session about your final mission as a Cobra Viper. What was the objective? We weren't given much to go on. Helicopter deployment and a two-hour hike to get to the base of a hill. On top of the hill was an enemy camp with two high-value targets. Capture or kill. Once it kicked off, it was pretty evident we were expected. You encountered resistance. You kidding? It was a massacre. They had aimed fire on us from an elevated position. And what's more, I'm sure I put rounds on these guys and they didn't go down. Must have been lousy with body armor. But judging by the way they moved, I figured it had to be something else. How do you mean? See, you can cover a soldier in Kevlar or something thicker and it can have some resistance to ballistics. But the more you pad up, the more you're just going to stagger around like a hockey goalie. These guys were quick, powerful. It was only in the aftermath that I realized what we were dealing with. This is it, Hawk. These guys weren't guys at all. Robots. Robots. What? They're an echo in here? Yes, robots. You're saying your unit was wiped out by a team of machine men? That is exactly what I'm saying, Philo. And where do you suppose these robots came from? The group you were sent in to engage? No. Cobra. When are we going to quit wasting time with debriefs? And when are you going to let me take a gang of your guys and hunt down the son of a bitch who gave the order to kill- It doesn't me? work like that. Talk to me about these robots. 
Straten goes on to detail that there's been a long-standing rumor in the ranks that Cobra has been experimenting with automated bipedal troops. This operation he was sent on was a field test for these new weapons. Just to prove these things are as effective in the field as a Viper fire team? That's no way to run an army. Duke and Beachhead encountered one of these things in the raid on the Cobra base in Operation Blazing Sand, but the trail went cold on that one. Stratton's unit was wiped out in a live fire exercise. We have the location? Stratton pointed it out on one of our charts. So we send him in under supervision to run recon there. We need a lead on where these things come from. So to head it up? Stratton is Slaughter's responsibility. And I'm not gonna try and wrestle that dog for his bone. Who the hell are you? Red Dog. New guy. So you're with G.I. Joe then? No. I'm with me. Right. You familiar with the Triple T? Well, I know how to clean them. Sarge has had me spit polishing him like some rawhide recruit since I got here last week. Well, today you get to see what they can do. Pretty much a go anywhere, do anything kind of ride. Low weight, high talk, crazy fast off road. She will chew you up pretty quick if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't believe in helmets. I get it. What? You want to put on one of your shiny cobra hats, huh? Forget it. No way I'm covering up this pretty face. Besides, you roll one of these bad boys and you just end up with a helmet hanging off the meat that was you. <laughs> Shining your expensive boots. Bet you need to change your snakeskin panties now, brother. <laughs> you ladies done at the races? Good. We've got our marching orders. What? We're going on assignment? Intelligence gathering. Command wants you to give us a tour of the last time you wore blue. There's nothing there. Just ghosts. All the same, we're going in. Dog, pack as many provisions as you can into the two T's. Mercer and me are going into the gun cage. Mercer, huh? How do you figure? You're not a Joe. You probably never will be, but I see potential in you. And in this outfit, we use code names all the same. You're a Merc, but you answer to me. And you call me Sir. Merc, Sir, Mercer. Cute, huh? Oh, that's super cute. Don't you just wanna put me in a dress and- Okay, Slime, pick your piece. You've shown adequate proficiency in standard Joe arms. The XMLR, the Wasp, the Pulverizer. So I'm happy to sign your sorry butt off on any of them. Hmm, I think I'm in love, sir. AP rounds and plenty of stopping power. Sounds like you know what we're walking into. You're not as dumb as you look, sir. And looks like you finally found some backbone, maggot. Good. Get the rest of your gear. We've got a plane to catch.
border and drive through a bunch of dogs. Trap secured. Let's go. After you. Go on. The sleeping giant is your new bosom buddy. Name's Taurus. And I wouldn't wake him if I were you. I'm going up to the cabin. Stay out of trouble. So, you work with the Sarge? Why not G.I. Joe? No chain of command. No flag. No politics. No BS. If I don't like something, I'll walk. Good thing the Sarge takes good care of us. You would follow that man anywhere, wouldn't you? Into the jaws of hell and back, Alifu. Nice duds, by the way. Yeah, managed to take my old Viper armor and rinse the Cobra off it. This should complete the look. It's a little tight. You'll live. As long as you behave. Try to mess with it or step out of line and it gets a lot tighter. Just like a tourniquet. Wouldn't kill you, but it might mean you have to lose the arm. Consider it a bit of insurance. I figured you would pull a stunt like this. I should have never come in. But you did, Maname. And you're mine now. And you've got the trigger. Maybe. Maybe Sarge. Maybe Taurus. So you better kiss all our asses as much as possible. Well, this mission is off to a great start. Wakey, wakey. Let's go. Mercer, glad you could join us. Get a cup of joe and settle in. It's almost go time. What's the plan, sir? That's more like it. We're disembarking whenever the pilot can find some open ground on this grid. Then, we beat it like hell to those foothills where you say you lost your unit. Pick up the trail of the attackers and see what we can find. That was over a month ago. What do you expect to find? Command says to chase down every lead. This is the best we've got. So, your expendable ass is going back into the grinder. You got a problem with that? You can get escorted off my damn plane. This is stupid. Cobra would have sanitized everything. They tried, but you're still here in spite of their best efforts. What does that tell you? Ah, the sleeping giant speaks. Well, what do you know, Ruski? Turk. And an Interpol. We actually read reports. I know the details of your defection. Cobra wanted your entire unit wiped out. No witnesses. There's something out there Cobra doesn't want anyone to know about. Even internally. Hmm. Well then I'd say we make a push up this ravine. It's the most logical approach our attackers would have taken. But I don't know if the vehicles can make it. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay maggots, load up. We're 20 minutes out. It's gonna be a hard landing. Uh-uh. You on the rumble seat, Aiga. This is insane. You damn right about that! Gear down. 20 feet off the deck. It's not gonna get much better than this. Drive her right on to the green! No going back now, Aiga! You're a snake hunt. Everything's still in one piece, Mercer. Well, read on. We ain't got all day. We gotta cross that stream up ahead. That should put us on course for the foothills. Bloody driving mistakes! Let's do it!
Stop. Stop. Okay. Oh, man. I should have put you in the ground. Didn't have the time. I'm so sorry, Rick. Friend of yours? Two of us got off this mountain alive. You're looking at one. This belonged to the other. I see. Anything else we need to know? No, sir. Where are we headed, son? Straight up that away is the kill box, sir. Two clicks. Then let's keep moving. We got a job to do, Mercer. This is it. This is where it went down. Fan out, men. Comb the air. projection on this powered armor ran far too high for it to be feasibly worn by rank and file, but the proof of concept demo model works perfectly. The strength enhancements are pleasing. Fit for a Cobra Commander, I'd say. <laughs> Consider it a gift, a token of appreciation for the generous support of Mars. This has all been a terrific waste of my time, Destro. Factory tours and equipment tests, when what I demand are results. Do not try my patience. Avak, we are en route to the roof. Commander, surely you understand that androids represent the bleeding edge of military technological advancement? To rush the units onto the world stage would be folly. To miss another deadline would too be folly, Destro. You have promised me a battle-ready unit within a month. I shall be waiting. General, we have a matter that requires your attention. Excuse me, gentlemen. No. What is the matter? It's all right, Lieutenant. We have no secrets from the Cobra Commander. What is it? Our pressure sensors on the jungle path have been tripped. Two small vehicles are on their way to the manufacturing base. Not one of our perimeter scouts running behind. Negative, sir. A breach of security during my personal site inspection. Please do not dramatize, Commander. We have adequate resources to deal with them. Lieutenant, send an aerial scout for visual confirmation and deploy a stun team to back it up. Sir. Commander, no sense in prolonging your stay. We will handle the matter swiftly and discreetly. No, Destro. I think I would like to stay a little longer. Seems things have become more... interesting. Devil's luck, Aiga. How did you know? Any Cobra installation is lousy with early warning systems. Guess I figured we were getting warmer. Yeah. Well, we're about to burn it down. We close the rest of the distance on foot. What if they find our rides? Then I guess we walk home. Either way, we don't want to be here when they do. Move it out, Renegades. Taurus, you got point. Dog, you take the slack. Mercer, you're with me, and don't bunch up.
is it? Big crook. Watch yourself. One of those get a hold on you, you'll be praying for mercy shot. Hmm. Crocodiles aren't indigenous to this region. Let's give him a wide berth. And everybody watch the step from now on. We are being funneled. By crocs. They're not pack hunters. Something's not right. Feels like a noose that's getting tighter. What do you suggest? We've got to get out of this swamp. Fast. Lost sight of the high ground. Damn it. Pick a direction, Taurus, and stick to it. Careful. I do not want to be croc meat. you to get to dry land. We all go home or nobody goes home, remember? Don't get cute with me. Look at us! Sarge. Dog! Dog! G.I. Joe, peace Move it, Mercer! What now, sir? The swamp is impenetrable. Scared of some glorified luggage, Mercer? We don't know where our objective is. We don't even know where we are. But we know we're getting closer. So you shut your face before I do it for you. Get to cover! We're being spotted! <laughs> On this! Taurus, Red Dog, Mercer, I'll hold these guys. You press forward and raise hell, you hear? Yes, let's do it! We're gonna smoke this cover base, even if it kills us. An apparent conclusion. We will soon learn the identities of these unfortunates. Confident as ever, hey Destro. The defense of this installation might be unconventional, but I can assure you, it is highly effective. We shall see, Destro. We shall see. Looks like we're back on track. I'm just happy to be out of that bloody swamp. What about that? We all go home, crap. Don't count the sword out just yet, buddy. 
Something coming. Something big. Back and check the cargo, Corporal. <laughs> Bloody circus freak. Come on, Cobra Man. Friend of yours? Cobra's got a lot of specialist uniforms, but I've never seen these guys before. Better get acquainted, quick. Looks like it's just your size. What happened? You get lost? Get out of here. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's you. Looks like it worked. We need to call this in. Find a radio room and get the word out to the Joes. And say what? Cobra has a base in the swamp and it's policed by trained crocodiles? We don't report until we have something to report. That's crazy, man. We're in over our heads. I feel a lot safer if the cavalry was coming. To hell with the cavalry. Cobra wanted me dead for whatever secrets this place was hiding. So we trash it and get the hell out. What? You got nothing? I got nothing. It's good plan. See that pipe? I'll wager it runs to a fuel bowser. We're almost done here. Give me the last pack of charges. I'll hook it up. You think I'm gonna let you out of my sight? You can't afford not to. We don't have time for you to finish up here and swing by the fuel dump. Give me the bag. You double cross me and you better make sure I'm dead. Or I'm gonna peel the skin off your stinking head and wear it to the next Cobra function. Done. Time to disappear.
Gentlemen, you are surrounded. Now toss out your weapons and come out nice and slow. Cool it. What say we blow this Tamai up with us? Sounds good. Never thought your ugly face would be the last thing I see. You have three seconds. No, you have three seconds, asshole. It won't take long to get a clear shot. Distract it, and I'll take care of it. Sarge, this place is rigged to blow. We gotta move. Where's Mercer? He's gonna be playing a hop with his Cobra buddies in a few minutes. He sold us out. We gotta go now. How did I not see this coming? Damn it! Better hit the remote detonators before we get out of range. Anything the matter? Perhaps. Excuse me, Commander. Pilot, where are you going? Oh, hell. Fly the damn thing like I told you. Or I'm gonna get careless with this. Back up. <laughs> I said, back up. Don't test it. Keep struggling and I'll take your arm off. That's it. Excellent work, Storm Shadow. Now, who are you? I'm the last survivor of what you think I care? Throw this garbage out the door and be done with it. How do you like your vipers? Medium rare or charred? I'll see you in hell. Hey, you left this bag up here. What? Unattended packages and all that. <laughs> Suck it, Cobra. Out of my way. <laughs> Beautiful. Cobra will be fighting those fires all night. Might never get them under control. <laughs> Good job, Renegades. That Cobra Chopper that was dogging us went to ground. Saddle up. Let's check it out. Curse you, Destro. <clears throat> At least your armor was good for something. Well, look what we have here. Trouble with your copter? Look at that getup. Must be important. Let's take him in in one piece. Mmm, pity. That gives me no satisfaction. Four? They only sent four? Either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. Or both. It matters little. Oh, Mercer? I'm going to enjoy 
tearing you apart. Talk is cheap, Tin Man. When I'm finished pummeling you, we'll roast you over an open flame till that can you're in pops. Like you said, talk is cheap. Pathetic. I'm gonna drown you one by one, like vermin. Stomp this snake, Taurus. Don't let him back up. I'm going to crack the shell and then peel out the squishy bits. Get back, Taurus. I got this. Let me take you. No. No. He's mine. Yeah. He's finished, yes? It is over? Yeah, Taurus. It's over. Now let's trust this filth to the hood and hustle to that LZ. What's with this guy? Why won't he bloody stay down? The dog's gonna put you down for good, Tamala Fafine! think I'm gonna let him walk. You speak as though you have a choice. You live only because I allow it. That's him, isn't it? That's the commander. Correct. That man had my unit killed. He ordered my execution. And my best friends. His crimes are great. And he will pay. Soon. But I need him alive. For now. Let. Go. Commander, quickly now. <sighs> Sarge? Sarge? Come on, soldier. Get up. Yeah. Mercer, I knew you'd come through in the end. You okay? I'm okay. Where'd that puke go? He's long gone, Sarge. We gotta move now. Wait, what's that? Cobra scumbags. They gotta finish us off. This might be old Sarge's last campaign. Let me draw them off. I tried, Rick. God knows I tried. Sarge, it's the Jones. They made it. Ugh. Real American heroes are here. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Oh, wow. Could have been here ten minutes ago. We're lucky you found us, Flint. We didn't quite make the LZ. Where there's smoke, there's Sergeant Slaughter. What about Cobra's operation? Your renegades might do whatever the hell they please, but G.I. Joe has to follow the rules. That facility is over the border of a sovereign nation that isn't going to allow foreign military intervention. 
Well, we've got eyes on the situation, and it looks like you did enough to pause production. They'll just move. That's what they do. And we'll be watching. Prepping. That's what we do. What about me? What about you? What happens to me? Not my problem. Sarge's problem. So that's it. I'm done. Elna, you're still my dog. When are you going to take this damn thing off? Take it off yourself, pansy. You mean it's not going to cut my arm off? Haha, <laughs> check this! Homeboy thinks he's a time bomb like Escape from New York. I never read it. You mean this thing is a... a dud? Dud? I think the bling suits you. You should do the whole arm. Maybe chrome chain mail or something? Knock it off, Renegades. Save your strength. This is far from over. We've got work to do, and we're just getting started. We're gonna tear Cobra a new one, and that's an order. Yojo! Yes, Captain, this is the final transport. Please get underway as soon as we're on board. I lost a lot of men back there. Good men. They were my men too, Voltor. But these new weapons will ensure we never have to commit our troops ever again. War is about to change. The era of the battle android trooper is about to begin.